All righty then. Hello, it is me, Echo Craft. Um, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, so Tonor just sent me another microphone. Uh, this is the TD310. And as you can see um, on the screen, uh, not a great screenshot, sorry about that. But um, yeah, so Tonor sent me this mic. Uh, I'm, I'm actually using it right now. I'm speaking through it right now. It actually sounds pretty good. Um, but yeah, uh, it comes with a USB-C to USB-A, uh, but also it comes with a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which is pretty cool. And it comes with this nice mic stand, which is all metal. By the way, the bottom is a nice heavy-duty metal base, um, and as you can see, it does have this um, this ring around it that glows. It's a RGB mic. I don't know if you would use this for streaming. It is a USB microphone. It sounds pretty good. It's a dynamic mic, um, but I did an unboxing video of it, and um, yeah, let's check it out. Here we go. Well, all right, here we go with the unboxing of another Toner microphone. Uh, Tonor sent this to me. Um, it's a campaign I guess they're running. They want people to test out their new microphones. This just came in the mail the other day. So let's open it up. I'm not quite sure what this one is. I think it might be a handheld mic. But let's find out, let's see what's in here. Basically, the shipping stuff, Toner Direct US. Uh, yeah, okay. So, this is the TD310 USB dynamic microphone kit. Um, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Perfect. This is uh, made in China, Tonor TD. 310 USB dynamic microphone kit. I just said that, didn't I? Okay, here we go. So we're going to open this up. And again, I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this. Um, this is a manual, right? Oh. And uh, let's see, we have a USB. Oh, that's a nice little cable. USB-C to USB-C. But it has, it has an adapter on it, which is kind of nice. If I can get that off. So it came with a USB-C to USB, a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which is, that's a nice little cable right there. Um, oh, what do we got here? So it, oh, apparently we have a stand. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, we get the windscreen. All right. And here's the microphone. If I can get it out. Okay. This one, um, this is kind of nice, actually. That's got a headphone jack on it. I don't know if you can see that. Just bring it up a little bit. There's the USB-C. We've got mute, volume up and down. And apparently this one has a ring around it, uh, an RGB ring. So, yeah. Um, it's a nice little microphone. Just set it down right here. And yes, here's the base. Oh, it's a heavy metal base. All right, let's move the box. Let's assemble this guy. Pretty cool how they package the, the, the stand. I mean, that's pretty cool. Get that on there. Nice, nice little stand. Oh, that's solid. It'll, it'll raise it up and down. It has a nice piece in here so that this doesn't pop out, which is kind of nice. Um, and then we have our mic clip. Yeah, let's uh, spin that around on this thing. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'll take the mic and we're gonna set it right in there. Nice solid mic clip, look at that. Pretty nice. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Not too much. But here you go. Look at that. Not bad, huh? 
And it's a nice height too. So I'm gonna test this out right now and see what, it's made out of plastic, this one, I believe. The uh, TD510 that I'm using now, the toner sent me, um, is basically um, uh, made out of metal. The whole thing's made out of metal. And uh, I think I'm gonna leave the pop filter off. I don't know if I like this thing on here like that. There you go. Yeah, I, I well, actually that looks kind of good too. Yeah, it fits nice on there. Yeah. So, I mean, um, that's kind of a nice microphone, you know? Let's see what it sounds like. All right, here we go. All right, so there it is. I mean, this thing sounds pretty good. Um, you know, I can do this. I can, you know, I can go in on it like that. Um, yeah, I, I think it sounds really good, actually. Um, it also has a mute button, so let's check that out. I didn't hear any clicks, so yeah. So it definitely uh, mutes. It's pretty good. Also has an up and down volume button on it, so maybe we could bring up the volume just a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Did that seem to bring it down? Let's try it again. I'm going to bring it down. Let's see if that brings it down. Oh, yeah, way down. Okay. So just like on the the um, the uh, TD510, it does have a volume button on it, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think it sounds pretty decent. Um, right now, all I did on the, uh, on OBS here, all, all I did on the filters, uh, was I just, um, dropped a little gain on it, put a little gain on it to, to, you know, uh, beef it up just a little bit. It sounds pretty good. You know, I'm probably gonna, um, I'm probably gonna use this, uh, for something. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use it for streaming, or for doing my my video cast, but uh, sounds good. I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, again, Toner sent this to me, and they wanted me to check it out. Um, I will tell you that um, I, th I think it's only like forty dollars or forty nine dollars or something like that. I mean, these inexpensive microphones. They're made in China. They sound pretty good, you know. Uh, this one here is made out of plastic. The 510 is made of all metal, which is really nice. That's my go-to mic right now. I'm using that a lot. Um, uh, I still have my five fine mic that I like, uh, but I do like these toner microphones. And I'm not saying that because they sent it to me. They want complete openness about how we, uh, when they send something to us, you know, content creators, they want us to be honest. And I'm being honest. Um, it is made of plastic. Um, it's got a lightweight feel to it. I will say the base and the stand that they gave me is really solid. Uh, the cable that they gave me is actually pretty decent. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this thing sounds pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you're just starting out and you need a, a microphone to get you going, it does have the cool RGB lighting, um, which is really nice. Uh, the five, the 510 didn't have the RGB lighting. That's modeled more after like an SM7B, I guess. But uh, this is pretty cool. And I put the pop filter on it. It comes with the pop filter or the um, the windscreen. Uh, it is a gold color underneath it, as you can see on the screen. Um, but other than that, man, I don't know. I kind of dig it. So let me know what you think in the comments. And I want to say thanks again to Tonor for sending me this stuff. And uh, yeah. But I always say, stay creative, stay frosty. Peace.